Hello everybody. Welcome back to Erndale's. So today I'm going to do a bit of a confession here. Um, remember during Vlogmas, the, at the very end of Vlogmas, I promised that I would reveal the 12 months of my 2023 stitching journal. Well, here's the reason why I haven't done that yet. This is the month of August and as you can see, it's all words. So I'm just going to tell you why this month is like this. During the month of August, um, there was a really devastating fire going through the area of Kelowna, British Columbia. And I have I have several nieces there, but my one niece and her husband had been building a new home in an area that was quite remote. And the fire went through there and it just destroyed everything. And for two months, they didn't know if their new home that they were building on um, survived or not. Even the home that they, they, their other home that they were selling, that they were living in at the time, uh, they were just moments from being evacuated from there. So it was a very stressful, heartbreaking time for, for them and for us too, who love them and support them and worry about them. And you know, there was fires all over the world. It wasn't just in Kelowna or in BC. It was everywhere. Look at what happened in Hawaii. And so I decided that the month of August, well, I wrote a poem actually about the fire. It's called The Fire. And I decided that the month of August, because of all of this was going on with my niece and her family, that I would dedicate the whole month to my poem. So I did that. I wrote the whole poem out into this whole month. But of all the stitching things that I do love to do, letters I don't like to do. I really, I really can't stand stitching letters. And so this is where I am with August. And this is where I have been with August since August. I just can't stand doing it. And so I haven't. So yesterday I sat down and I did this little bit here and I quit and I went to something else. And this is what's been going on. So this is the reason why you're not seeing my full journal. Now, July has a few, quite a few words in it too. It's not a poem or anything like that, but there is quite a few words in July. And so it's also not finished. It's not as bad as this. There's just a few days. Actually, I should finish that first. Maybe that'll sp spur me on. But it's this month that has really stalled me. And until I'm in the mood to do these, I'm not going to do them. I, I just am not. So when I get this done, I'm going to put it differently this time. It's not going to be the first thing that you see in 2024, obviously. When I get August done, I will show you all 12 months. But also, I am not ready to put this together. This is eventually going to be a wall quilt. I'm going to do all 12 months into a wall quilt, but I'm not ready to do that yet either. I'm still on the fence as to how I want to do it. And I think that's another reason why I'm not rushing to get this done is because I really don't know how I'm going to do it. So yeah, this is the one that's stalling me and in my mind, I, there's lots more fun things to do than this. So I will get the, the urge to finish it and I'll just plow through it. But I haven't had that urge. I have I think actually, you know, if you, if you look at this, there's 31 little squares here. I have done that 12 times. It's been a lot of stitching. And I think I'm a little burned out from this project. And that might be partially why I haven't finished it. But I will finish it, just not this month or maybe not even next month. I don't know. So there, I I feel better now. I got that off my chest and um, don't think badly of me. This is, this is something that happens to all of us, doesn't it? Sometimes you have great intentions and I'm so close to finishing this. You know, I know this and that's sort of what's playing on my mind that, come on, Dale, you're not that far away from finishing this project. Just get it done. But um, I'm not, I'm not going to do it until I really enjoy sitting down and doing it and getting it done, but I'm not in that headspace right now. So I'll show you what I am in the headspace for. 
So I, like you, follow people on YouTube, obviously. And when it comes to stitching, there are three women who, as far as I'm concerned, are the best on on the internet. One of them is K39 Cloth Tales. That is the YouTube channel. And I'll put a link to all three of these in my description below. Kathleen, or Kathy, she is doing a week one she, she's doing a weekly slow stitch 2024 now she does her her work is very borrow inspired she's like primitive look she's not into shabby chic or anything like that she's she likes to work with really old linens she does a lot of fabric tea dyeing and coffee dyeing and oh she she does beautiful things anyway her her slow stitch is a weekly slow stitch along if you want to join it. And I'll show you what she did on week one. She showed you how to do fabric weaving. And I did this little piece along with her on her week one, which was just this week. So if you want to join this, you can still join it. Um, and I'm just now doing the top stitching along here. This was a lot of fun. I did not ever know. I didn't know about it fabric weaving and I actually really enjoyed this it's just done with scraps strips and um, tiny scrap strips so what she's doing is she's herself is making a journal and she will put this inside the journal but like she said you can do whatever you want with this piece at the end of every week you'll be you'll have a piece that you can either make it put it into a journal or you can do something else with it and that's what I like about it because She's showing a technique that you can do, but she's not telling you what to do with it. You can do whatever you want with it. So this is, this was the week one of K39 Cloth Tales, and that's Kathy. And um, I love her videos. She's she's so good. And the other thing she's doing, and I, I'm just going to show you this. Um, do you know what a snippet roll is? Well, she calls it, um, what does she call it? Not a memory roll. She calls it uh, something else. I can't remember. I had never seen these before either. So what she does is she takes... Oh, sorry about that. I'm not, she takes an old spool and she makes cloth for it. And then she's going to do sort of the same kind of thing. She's going to slow stitch on top of this. And she does it with pieces of fabric that she knows where like she did she did one of these with fabric from her father's shirts a memory roll I think she calls it and what a beautiful idea you know if you have like I have a lot of of um Jonathan's baby clothes I think I might cut them up and put them on one of these I think it would be a really sweet thing anyway I got a couple prepared because I have some old wooden spools and I will eventually get around to doing that too so that's K39 another one of the three is Marion's World oh my gosh Marion's World is wonderful I love her she is such a sweet woman and does such beautiful absolutely beautiful work she has started uh, a weekly slow stitch or stitching project and I think she's making a journal as well I have not, I'm not working on what she's doing because she's she's doing more stitches and things like that. And I, I do a lot of the stitches that she's doing. So I'm following every one, but I'm not necessarily working on the same thing as she's doing because I don't really want to make a, a journal, a book right now. But if she does something that I, different, that I haven't tried, I will, I will make a piece. And then the third one is Roxy... Roxy Creations and if you are a stitcher you know all about Roxy already I probably don't have to tell you anything about her but her and Sarah are working on uh, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 5 and they have decided this year to do it as a monthly project so every month they'll do a different project and this month they are working on a tri-fold um, pouch. So this was this is my start on my trifold pouch. 
I've stitched down my my fabric and now I'm going to top start to do my slow stitching on it and it will make a nice pouch that you can use however you want to use it. So this is their their monthly stitch this year this week this month will be a pouch you'll finish a pouch. And in true Dale fashion um I I enjoyed this so much putting this together. I do like I do like the the idea of putting fabric down and doing collage. I obviously I mean look what I'm doing with the with the dog. I love fabric collage. So this part was fun. Um now I need to stitch it, but in true Dale fashion, I thought, oh, this is nice. These would make great gifts, these little pouches. They're so beautiful when you get them done. And I have every intention of doing still a thousand dollar or thousand dollar. Yeah, right. Wouldn't you all love a thousand dollar giveaway? So would I. A thousand subscriber giveaway. And so I thought, well, this would make a really nice gift for one of you. So I laid out not one, but two. And because I like that one so well, I did another one like that. Three. This one is for, would be for, oh, it's stuck. Hold on. This These are all just pinned, these ones, so they're sticking to one another. This one would be for, um, a child so it's birds and bees and dogs and cats and clouds and suns and all that kind of stuff this would be a child's pouch maybe like for crayons or pencils or little bat matchbox cars I don't know and this one is my colors I'm an earth tone lover this is another one. So all these have to be stitched down. And what I'm doing right now is I am just doing the little um, invisible base stitch so that I can get the pins out of here. So that's all I'm doing. And this is wonderful. I love this invisible base stitch. And they all have talked about this stitch super duper easy and you don't see any of the basting on the front you only see it on the back and it's very quick it doesn't take any time at all to do this so this is what I've been working on um, is these oops I need to get my thread up here I've been working on these because these are fun what is it stuck on hmm so yeah, those are the three people, what happened here? Those are the three people that I I do follow every day, pretty much. And um, I enjoy them so much, all of them. And I'm going to try and keep up with these projects instead of the big project of you know when you when you do a project and you can't commit to it for a year that's a long project and it, it takes takes a little bit of determination and dedication to get it done and i i right now i just feel like working on smaller projects and i think that's a good thing too you know these are more doable I will probably finish these long before I'll finish my other one, but I am going to finish it. Just not right now. Right now I'm taking a break. I am doing a bit of knitting. I am working on finishing my my blanket, my rose petal blanket that I got from Hirschner's as a kit. i am only got one more repeat to do, and then I am done with that. So I'm not working on any socks at the moment. I'm just finishing things that I have on the go and um, not starting any new knitting projects right now. I'm just going to finish up what I've got going. I have that other um, sampler Afghan knit one that I'm going to finish off too. And then I'll see what I want to 
knit. I did so much knitting before Christmas that I'm really kind of finished with that for right now too. Right now I just want to do these things. And Molly. Now, speaking of Molly, I have done some work on that as well. And I decided that I am going to um, dedicate Wednesdays to updates on Molly. I think I think that will be a good idea. That way I, I'm not going to mix up my videos like I did in the past. I had so many things on one video. I'm going to try and stick to one thing. And... Um, that way, if you if it's something that you're not interested in, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. But hopefully you do, because, you know, me, I always have to add something extra in. So Wednesdays are going to be Molly's Day, and I have been working on that as well. There's some updates coming on Wednesday for that project. Oops, I lost my needle. And I've been doing some cleaning. I've been cleaning through some closets. Oh my gosh. We have a, our, in our spare bedroom, there's a huge big walk-in closet, but it doesn't have two doors. It's only got one. I don't know why they would make a closet like that. So you have to remove everything from behind the door and then work backwards to get anything. And we don't, we don't use that closet, but I've used it for storage and I thought, hey, I'm going to see what's in the back of this closet. So I took everything out. And do you know, I found stuff that I thought that I had gotten rid of before we moved. There's boxes back there that I haven't even unpacked in eight years we've been here. So it's all been unpacked now. And a lot of it went straight to recycle because it's nothing that I want anymore. So it's... it's um. I've been doing a little bit of that kind of stuff too. And I've been doing a little bit of cooking and baking. I made some bread yesterday and um oops. And I'm gonna do a little bit of baking for Gary. I, I'm still on Weight Watchers, I'm still losing weight. It's slowed down a lot now. But I think that's partially because of Christmas. Because I did I did enjoy Christmas. I didn't I didn't stick to plan. I I had some treats. I had some chocolate. I didn't have as much as I usually would have, but I did I didn't punish myself. I enjoyed Christmas. So, I didn't gain any weight. I just didn't lose any either. So, back on track now. But Gary loves his sweets, so he's been buying cookies from the store and they really aren't very good for you really that they gotta have a bunch of additives so I promised him I would bake him some cookies and I will so that's all I'm gonna chat with you about today I'm gonna continue basting this down and then I am going to start to stitch these down and I'm going to make some pretty pouches and one of them is going to be for you. So the giveaway will be a pouch. I might have three different things. So maybe three people will get a gift, a mug rug and maybe a pair of socks. I'm still thinking about the socks. Do I want to knit a pair of socks right now? I don't know. Maybe I do. I mean, I always love making socks. Okay, so I'm going to work on this. We're having snow, and it's getting cold. Finally, we're getting our Canadian winter. It's supposed to be down in the minus 20s, high minus 20s, like minus 28 by the end of the week. So um, winter's coming. And I'll finally be able to wear my new ski jacket, which I bought last fall and have only worn maybe 10 minutes. That's it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go out and feed my birds outside. Oh, and birds. Chip is settling down very nicely. Um, she, I mean, I'm getting used to calling her a she now. It's starting to feel a little bit more normal. Um, she's, she's fine. She's good. She hasn't laid any more eggs. 
I have, I've given her back a couple of her toys because it, it, I just couldn't stand to see her in an empty cage. I've given her back a few toys, but nothing with strings or, or any kind of, anything that she could shred. I, they're just bells to ring and things like that. So she has toys. I have not given her back her bed, which is kind of a problem because I watch her when she wants to go to bed and she's running around the cage looking for her bed. I know she is. And she looks mighty uncomfortable on the stick at the back of the cage. She goes up to the highest stick she can find and she, she kind of wedges herself behind a toy and be between a bar and a you know the bar of the cage and a toy and she wedges herself up there and she looks terribly uncomfortable so I hope in a few weeks I can give her back her bed I have seen no signs of of nesting or anything like that she's quit going down to the bottom of the cage to check she was going for a while she was going down there all the time looking for the egg I think uh, but she's not doing that anymore so I think we've turned a corner and all is back to normal. Okay, I'm going to keep on going with this and I will catch you on Wednesday. Stay well, stay healthy, don't get the flu that's going around, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye, everybody.